and welcome back to Baby Watch. I am officially 39 weeks pregnant today. I've been out kind of running errands and having like some mommy time this morning. I got my nails done as you guys saw and I just ran into the mall. I wanted to go into Bath and Body Works and grab a couple candles for the holiday season and I had a coupon to use so I did that and now I am going to go by Sonic because I'm really craving some chewy ice. So I'm gonna go get that and probably grab Fred and I a little bit of lunch today as well. He's off today, today is Friday. And so he had the day off today, so I'm going to pick us up some lunch and I go back to my doctor this afternoon. So there will be a little pregnancy update later on in this video, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And I'm really hoping for some like good news and progress when I go and see my doctor. So I'll show you guys what I got from Bath and Body Works. I got these two candles right here. This one is Twisted Peppermint and the Fresh Balsam. They both smell really good. I thought this one would be good in the kitchen because it's like peppermint and a little bit sweet. So yeah, I thought this one would be good in the kitchen and it's such cute packaging, I love it. And then I got the Fresh Balsam which smells like Christmas trees. So I thought this would be nice in the living room with our Christmas tree and just very like clean and wintry kind of in the living room, so. And then I grabbed a couple hand sanitizers because we're gonna be using hand sanitizer nonstop when she is here. So I got this one for Fred to keep like on him in his bag or whatever. And it's midnight for men and it smells really good actually. And then I got a, I got this cute little snowman holder that I'm gonna put on my diaper bag just for like the winter. I thought it was super cute. And then I got the Twisted Peppermint Hand Sanitizer, if I can get it out. Yeah, so I just got that to keep in there. So that was what I grabbed from Bath and Body Works. Okay, so we just pulled up to my doctor's appointment and we're going to go check on baby girl, see if there's any progress. I really hope that there is some progress. When I went to my appointment last week, I was one centimeter and 50% effaced, so Hopefully there's some progress. I cannot like shake this feeling all day that today is like our last day to do things before she's here. Like, I don't know what it is, but I just have this, like, I'm so anxious. Yeah. Like, I'm so anxious and I just feel like anything that we want to buy or get done or anything like has to be done today. And so I don't know if that's like a sign that she's coming very soon or what, or what, I don't know. Fred still has the whole weekend off. So like we have time to do things, but I just feel like we have to get it done today for some reason. And I don't know why. So hopefully my doctor has some good news for me. Okay, here is my bump. She's gigantic, like. She is so big right now. But yeah. That is the bump at 39 weeks pregnant. So I wanted to sit down and give you guys like an update on my appointment. I had planned to sit down and update you guys when we got home, but after grocery shopping and once we got home, JJ just like went haywire. Like he was being so crazy, so hyper and just like acting up so much. And I needed to put the groceries away and cook dinner and all of that stuff. So. I just did not have it in me to sit down and give you guys an update. So here I am now. So you guys know, last time I went, I was one centimeter dilated and 50% effaced. This time I was still about the same amount dilated. She said I wasn't quite a two yet. So I'm thinking maybe like one and a half or so, probably a little bit more than a one. And I was 60% effaced. She did do a membrane sweep, which if you guys know, that is just like, if you've had it done, then you know, it's not fine. So I'm hoping that that will help kickstart labor, but it didn't with JJ, it didn't really help at all. So I don't really have my hopes too high. I have started to finally get some like contractions and they're a little bit painful, but like super inconsistent, not like labor contractions or anything like that, just like Braxton Hicks. I haven't really been having any contractions the past few weeks. So now that I'm having a few, that's good, but it's still not like labor contractions. So unfortunately I didn't 
really get any like good news that I was hoping for at my appointment. I have an appointment for next Friday, the 22nd, which is my due date, if she does not come before then. And at that appointment, they'll probably do another membrane sweep. Then they would schedule me to be induced at 41 weeks. But I really don't think I'm gonna go that long. JJ was born at 40 weeks and three days. So I really don't think she's gonna go past her due date. But just being like super honest with you guys, I am really hoping that she comes before Fred has to go back to work on Monday because I just don't know that I can handle being pregnant right now and taking care of JJ all by myself for a whole day or multiple days. Like I just feel so drained and uncomfortable and in pain. And I literally don't know how I'm gonna chase him around and deal with him all day by myself if Fred has to go back to work on Monday. Like I'm at the point where no matter how I'm sitting, laying down, standing up, walking around, no matter what I'm doing, I am so uncomfortable in my stomach and my back pain is awful. And I constantly just have like this like stomach ache feeling. Like no matter whether I have water or soda, tea, coffee, like no matter what I have, whether I eat, if I eat something healthy or unhealthy, my stomach just always is like aching and hurting. So I am just at that point where I am over it. I am ready for her to come because it is getting so hard and I literally don't know how many more days I can do this. But this morning, even though I feel so awful, like just like crap, I just feel like crap, honestly, I have been cleaning like crazy. Like I made the bed, like literally the second I got out of bed, I have started laundry and cleaned the kitchen and the bathroom. I reorganized the pantry and JJ snacks and all of that. I know a lot of people say that they get this like last like burst of energy and nesting urges right before they go into labor. So fingers crossed that that's what that is because even though I feel so bad, I just wanna clean everything right now. I'm probably gonna eat some spicy food today. I would totally go for like a long walk, but it's like pouring outside. So that's probably a no-go. But yeah, that's my update for now. I'm still feeling her move like constantly all the time, especially at night. So I'm definitely just like at the end and this last little stretch of however many more days until she decides she wants to come, hopefully tonight or like early tomorrow morning, that would be great. But yeah, I will have this baby watch vlog up on Monday for you guys. And Tuesday, I will have a huge haul because we've started buying like Christmas gifts and we are getting some more Christmas decorations and stuff like that. So I'm gonna do like a big haul for you guys. And so that'll be up Tuesday. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that. But I think that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching today's baby watch vlog. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys very soon in my next video.